Right. So we've got... Four O hook. 20 pound amnesia just to a swivel. And then the bride. This is about 30 pound bride. I swapped over from a different reel. So I've got the pen battle. So it's just, it's got a heavier braid than the other reel. Same rod. It's just that when... Um, When I strike, if we get to that stage, I've got, I ain't got to worry about the braid, the braid um, pinging because there's no stretching braid. So you need slightly heavier braid. So this is the bait down here. I've got some beach anglers who don't know what they're doing. They're coming up this end. Ah, I have to wash my hands. Look at that, lovely. Like that. All right, and I'm gonna to have to be going down and wash my hands now. Look at that. We're a bit early. We want the water to be up a lot higher than this. But we've got plenty of bait, and I've got nothing else to do. So. <laughs> Um, wash my hands. A horrible. Horrible mackerel blood. Alright. That's pretty much it, really. Tide is roaring in now, it's these big tides. So, flooding, so it's going that way. Takes me away from those anglers who just rocked up there. That's all snaggy out there, so that wouldn't be my choice. It'd be the best choice is that outfall pipe, the other side. That's the other thing with this, you don't want to whack us out too far. So, my finest snag, but we're gonna lob it to there. Setting the drag just right as well. Using braid because I want if something grabs it or you can feel it. So we just gonna keep walking that way. And if we hadn't had anything. Got a stiff wind. No, it's fine. It's... Got to try and keep the braid out of these stones as well. So, might have took a while to sink. Start the fish now because it's a big tide, so it will come in very quickly. So, although in theory, I don't think I'll get a fish until the water's a lot higher up. But you never know. You never know. Any time's a good time, but there is peak times. It's more to do with just being here and being pissed forward, really. So, with a bait like that, you like to think that it's. sitting on the bottom out there and it's slowly trundling along in the tide so we're covering ground it's not fixed this is it's nice and relaxing when you fix it you can go to sleep or whatever with one eye on the rod but you're going to get your peckers so this is another good way how to sort of get rid of your peckers but you've got, you can't afford to have any anglers down this way. But this beach suits that because it's all snaggy along here. So they're all up that way, out of the way. 
as we're drifting down this way. So we haven't got to wind it in, walk around them, and then cast and stuff like that. And also, it's nice and peaceful as well. But nah, it ain't about that. It's just, it's about fishing it properly. It's as slack as anything, though. Just if aren't you afraid, when there's lots of stones and things, that it will sort of bury itself and then anchor you. So if you haven't moved along for a while when you thought you should be, then that's your, that's your reason. So then you're effectively fishing like if you had a, a beach rod just anchored down. So we've not moved for a while there, so I might need to just wind it a little bit, just to loosen it. I always recast out again. The braid's sort of holding it. So what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is right over there, look. I'm going to get it out of there, way. Probably a bit too far. no lead there, it's just a bait, so even if it does go into some rock and some kelp, good chance of getting your gear back. I've got some spare gear anyway. Just wander down a little bit. So I've got some lures in my bag as well, in case it comes, comes right at the top of the tide. We've not had anything on this. See, with braid, even if you've got a big bow in the line, if you get a fish, grab it, and he picks off with it, or he's flying around with it, you'll feel something. You'll, you'll, and it'll straight away be different to anything else you've felt, and you'll know it's a fish. You just got to, those hooks are really thin. You just got a strike, not too berserk, but you got a, a, a sort of a fairly stiff strike to set that hook. So I don't really see the beach like this when it's so steep. The bass will be right at the top of the tide they'll be right in right into that steep bank there just around here and I, i'll be brutally honest that's when i've caught them before with lures they cut they come onto this bit in here and you'll get them close in on the in the deep bit just in close here so you know this is the early part of the flood when really it would have to be an, ex, an exceptional lot of fish around but there's no harm in sort of spending an hour just fine-tuning your gear, making sure you're happy with it for when peak time is there. So you can iron out any problems, and if you want to sort of, you know, you know, in, enhance your, your rig in any way, you can do. Or if something's not working, you've got time. There's nothing worse than turning up when they're, when they're biting peak time, and you're, you know, you're sending out the wrong gear, or you're not happy with something, or... So it's always good to get, some, get fishing early get down early and then like I say I've on a night session as well get there an hour in the light just so you can just you know see what you're doing and just iron things out you go down in the dark and set up in the dark cast in the dark that's all a bit of a that's all right if there's some some good fishing going on you know and that's when you can get there but you just want to try and get there a little bit early so we're moving a little bit Just gotta hold it. If I get a take, I'll know because I'm using braid. Something will happen. You'll get a few little tugs. Potentially, it could come towards you, where it could catch you out. 
but usually you 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 know you you're going to be given an opportunity to set the hook it's just that you just gotta behave unusual as for a fish coming towards you i mean that's, i don't know i don't know how i sort of think about that really that's like they got they're picking it up and they're moving towards you the, the the chances and the probability of that are very slim i would say very slim in daylight you can you'll see the line go slack but i'm sort of seeing it going slack now but if you think of all the ways a fish can move off moving towards you it's like one one fifth or one sixth of the of the things which way he could go so odds on you're gonna you're, you're you're feeling that we're fishing anyway Got me earplugs. Fresh one on. A bit big, but then again, we're after a big bass. So. drag set just right had to trim off a little bit of line where the stones have damaged it so I'm just looking to stay in tune with it we're just getting swept along swept along in the tide yeah. Like the fishing there, it looks like he knows what he's doing. 